Hey Scrappers, Tom from the iScrap app, and we had a question about what scrap yards do with their material after it gets delivered by peddlers or being picked up from commercial accounts. It's an excellent question, and I'd like to go over some of the different things that different scrap yards will do. Now, there are always different levels of scrap yards. We've seen scrap yards located inside of retail shopping plazas. We've seen scrap yards at the end, the dead end of roads. We've seen large scrap yards that have shredding facilities at the ports that are loading barges. So there's all different types of yards. So let's talk about things in a more generic fashion than a specific fashion. A customer brings material into the scrap yard. Most scrap yards will then take that material after they bought it. They'll separate it into different bins. And from there, depending on the size of their operation, they'll cut it or process it down even further. For example, a number two piece of copper pipe that comes in with a soldered end might have a one foot section that's clean. If the scrapyard has the ability, they'll cut that, creating a clean piece and a dirty piece and separating it into different boxes. From there, some scrapyards, again, depending on their size, will either sell to larger scrapyards or those larger scrapyards will accumulate 20, 30, 40,000 pounds of that one type of material and they'll sell it directly to a mill or an exporting market. From there, the mill will get that material. The exporting market will also take it to another mill where it will get repurposed, melted down and put into ingot fashion, cold rolled pieces of steel. If it's steel that's getting recycled, the copper could get rolled into coils or made into just flat sheets that might go to another application, another manufacturer that will take those sheets and turn it into something new. We've also seen different mills that create their own copper wire. This way that copper wire can go to different wire processors who take it and put it through a system that can actually take a thicker piece of material and by using the right amount of heat can melt it through a system and almost have it come out in a much thinner setting and then it can start to get wrapped in plastic by having it sprayed on almost. It's been a process that I've seen multiple times at manufacturers that I've worked with buying scrap from, and it's so interesting to see how they do things. So depending on what size scrap yard you're at, that same basic process, material comes in, gets processed, gets put into clean or dirty packages, depending on the material. From there, it then shoots itself out to the mill, the, uh, the export market, and then will get turned into new product down the road by manufacturers whether it's the car manufacturers, medical instruments, or anything that you could imagine inside of your house, your business, or outside in the real world. We appreciate you asking the questions. If you have any more questions for us at the iScrap app, feel free to let us know. Stay safe. Until next week, we'll scrap you later.